I think the big question on everybody's mind is just, I mean, you know, five, six weeks ago, you had really, really rough accident, Eagle Man, yeah. you know, and I mean, what did you do in the last five, six weeks and how did you pull this miraculous, you know, recovery <laughs> off? Yeah, that was a crazy experience. Um, I think, so what happened was, yeah, five weeks ago, I really was really lucky with, uh, aside from the brain situation, which obviously was very traumatic, but as far as my body goes, I had some really bad rib contusions, and that affected me, obviously, as I was starting to train again, but I, I really think of the positive side, which was after Eagle Man, I was supposed to have this mid-season break. I mean, I've been racing since Auckland in January, right? So I kind of was hoping, come Vine Man, that yeah, all this fitness from then would still be, be able to parlay into that. But I really, if, if I look back at it, and I look back at my training log actually the other day, and um, I was in the vampire den, which means her horizontal in dark places, like unable to function, like in any capacity <laughs> for like four days after the race. And then I did, um, I was able to run and swim, even though I was, especially in the swim, I was cognitively really off. I felt really awkward in my swimming. Like my stroke wasn't in tune with whatever else was happening. Um, pretty much the crash was Sunday. By Friday, I was doing small movement. Like I was probably, I think I ran a half hour, swam a half hour, and then I kept doing that the following week and biking too. So I, I never lost, I lost intensity and I felt that in that second week after the crash and I told this to Matt, I go, I've lost my, I feel like I've lost my top end a little bit because if you go back even further before the crash, I was sick and quasi, like I just didn't feel, you know, I didn't feel well. So I felt like I lost that top end even back before Eagle Man. Um, so it was in my life, like, I was just thankful to be able to swim, bike, run at all, even if it was zone two, zone one stuff. And then the third week, I remember Matt put an 18-mile run on my on my plan because, you know, we're thinking, Kona, I need to have these big runs. And we wanted to test the brain out three weeks post-crash, and it ended up being, I felt the most confident, if you will, in my run um, going into Vine Man. I thought I lost my top end in the swim and the bike a little bit, but I was going to... Um, I had had some good training the three weeks after the crash and build into Vine Man. And I just think um, doing that zone one, zone two stuff and pushing through the pain, a lot of people when, when they get injured, and I get this because I've had my share of injuries uh, dating back to a lot of years ago in college, uh, you know, Division One sports. But what works for me personally is when I have an injury, I often have to work through the pain quite a bit in order for it to heal faster. And um, I was able to do that this time with my ribs. They made, I'm not joking, Kurt, like this 180 because they were killing me. Um, I could get through it. It was tolerable, but it was pretty like how I, I don't think I could race anytime soon. And I went to the, I did a lot of PT. I mean, we're talking every day. For the past four weeks, I'd say a week leading up to Vine Man was my last week of that, but I'd either be at the cognitive doctor doing brain impact tests and all these crazy memory things, or I'd be at the physical therapist um, doing cupping, a lot of myofascial cupping, which hurts so bad and it gets worse before it gets better, but then it heals. And that that is my thing. Like I love my guy who does it, and he really gave me exercises and I used to, I'm not going to lie, I used to think PT was kind of, um, it, it's terrible to say because I'm ignorant and that I didn't know enough about it, but I was like, oh, I don't need to do those exercises. It'll just heal on its own. What we did is the reason I was able to race Vine Man healthy and, and that took about three weeks to heal and then I was just building up that intensity that I felt that I lost and um, it all came together.